I want to get into the last piece of news so that we can get into Loki. And I just want to hear your quick thoughts on the Shang-Chi trailer. This trailer absolutely blew me away. Uh, when Vash and I talked about like our most anticipated like MCU properties that were going to be coming out for 2021, Shang-Chi was like between like one and three or like one and two. Like I'm so excited because this is the MCU expanding in a completely different way that we haven't seen before. This is going to be an all Asian cast getting to know the real Mandarin, the real mystery of the Ten Rings, getting to experience an entirely new culture within the MCU, right? Because even it, when we went to space and we went to Asgard, yes, it's different. Yes, the cultures are different, but they still felt they still felt like all of the other characters that we know and we've been working with before. But with Shang-Chi, again, we're going to a, a completely different part. We're going to learn so much more about his culture and how he grew up as his father being the Mandarin and what that was mm -hmm. like for him growing up, knowing that he would eventually become the next Mandarin. Like that was his, his purpose. Right. So mm -hmm. this movie is going to be very, very interesting. So Steve, I want to know your thoughts. Like, what did you think of the new Shang-Chi trailer? I thought it was really, really good, especially because I had just watched not too long ago. I watched warrior on HBO max. So now I'm starting to get into like Kung Fu stuff and things like that. So it kind of gave me that that same kind of like culture and the things like that. So I'm like excited to dive into that because I don't know anything about Shang-Chi. Like I don't I haven't read any comics or anything like that. So I'm going in blindly. Um, I could start reading before it gets started. But then again, at the same time, I'm like, do I want to like have any kind of spoilers and things like that? Like even as the trailer was going on, I was getting surprises. I was all like, oh, snap, he doesn't like his dad. I was like, oh, snap, his dad was beating I him. don't <laughs> recommend reading anything because the, read the MCU is going to change everything anyway. So mm -hmm. just experience it from the MCU lens and then if you're curious, go back, but after the movie. That's my recommendation anyway. Okay, yeah. Like, so I, I had no idea. The trailer just was surprising me as it was going on. It was like, oh, shoot, I didn't know this. I didn't know he was the Mandarin until you just said it. I didn't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know any of these things. So this is actually really exciting for me, you know what I'm saying, to go into this blindly and watch it. And it looked really, really uh, beautiful. Like, it looked really good um, when they the opening, like, I guess like the first 10 seconds of the, the trailer when they show the, the rings, when they, they do that, I was like, that looks dope. Like that looks good as fuck. So I was all like, yeah, this looks like it's going to be a really good movie. Yeah. Um, for me, look, when they announced Shang-Chi, I actually had no idea um, anything about Shang-Chi. So my excitement level, I'm going to be real with y'all. For me, of all the things coming out in 2021, at the bottom of the list was the Black Widow film. Shang-Chi was right above it. Like, hmm. that's how much, and, and for all those who know me, I really don't care about the Black Widow film. I'll watch it at some point. I don't I don't really care for it um, too much. Excited for Taskmaster, um, of course, but overall, it, it just, to me, it seems like too late to get it. Yeah, and so Shang Chi, I just felt like I, you know, I don't know. I'll watch it when I watch it. I, when I get to it, I'll get to it. But then when the first trailer came out, I was like, "Oh shit!" Okay, first of all, I owe a bunch of apologies to uh, Simu Liu. Um, I believe that's how I I said. Uh, sorry if I butchered his name. And to all of those on Shang Chi, the trailer looked popping. Um, we all love martial arts. We we do. And this movie is going to give us what we love, but in the comic book space, which is which is great. So we're going to get awesome fight choreography. Uh, for all those who follow the MCU and Iron Man especially, we're going to get the proper Mandarin we deserve, right? And that's the most exciting thing. And we appreciate that, Kevin Feige and that part. Like, all right, you know, we messed up on some things. Uh, Mandarin being one of them. So now we're <laughs> going to get the real Mandarin is dope. Now, when we saw it, trailer two, Lord, 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 Lord. So trailer one, a lot of hands throwing. We're like, all right, these guys, it's going to be a it's going to be a martial arts movie. Bet. Number two showed us more of that, but it showed us exactly like, all right, what these 10 rings about. These 10 mm -hmm. rings are some are, are weapons. And that scene between father and son with the different colors, I really look forward to. Like, you know, we how often have we had the, uh, the plot line of father versus son? You know, we, we get that. But this one looks really fun. And one of the biggest things that I appreciate seeing was Abomination. 
and exactly how he looked like from Ed Norton's Hulk film back in what was that, 09 or, or how, how long ago was that film? Um, uh, 2008 yeah so 2008. I, I have it i have it up on i have it up on the stream right now yeah like when just... i saw abomination i was like the fuck what <laughs> yeah like this yes. is the movie where we bring back abomination like yes, i thought dude. that was insane dude yeah so so it had me hype because i i'm gonna keep it real ed norton's hulk movie i enjoyed i've seen that film several several times i i actually enjoyed it i had no issues with it really um was it the best film of course not but was it as bad as people made it out to see Oh hell no! It wasn't, it wasn't as bad as that Eric Banner joint, <laughs> <laughs> right? So, so Edlin, here's here's the thing, right? So, um, during one of the Marvel one shots, you can see Ben Kingsley's character Trevor in jail, and um, the real organization, the Ten Rings, sent men after him to kill him for impersonating the real Mandarin. So yeah, he <laughs> was definitely impersonating a real person, and they came after him for impersonating the real Mandarin. So that was something that I really appreciated after Iron Man 3, because for me, not having the prior um, the prior knowledge of the one shot, I was like, oh, they completely disrespected one of Iron Man's like biggest villains, right? In his earlier days, like mm -hmm. completely disrespected. It's like, no, he's not the real Mandarin. He was posing as the Mandarin and the 10 rings, the organization actually has him. So I thought that was really dope. Um, I, I, I kind of want, like, a small scene of him in, like, a prison in China, <laughs> like, um, under the Mandarin. But who knows? Maybe they just killed him. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm, um, actually, is this coming out before the She-Hulk series? That's a yeah. good question. I think so. What, I because think if I'm not mistaken, Abomination is supposed to be in She-Hulk as well. You are correct, so, sir. So if that's the case, then, yeah, this, this is actually a good tie-in. Because we yeah. get Abomination on the Shanghai series, and then we see him in She-Hulk. So that because yeah, be... I don't think we're going to see that sequence where he's Abomination was fighting, and then we we'll probably won't like. See so She-Hulk isn't until 2022. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 cool. Yeah, so because I know that we were supposed to get um, uh, Hulk in that as well. So She-Hulk and Hulk is going to be in it as well, and that way you get your Hulk without having to have his own franchise. Still, that's how they that's how they keep putting them in stuff. You put them in Thor Ragnarok, and then they're they're gonna do this She Hulk thing. Absolutely, now giving his own franchise, but he's just in the act character in it. It's smart and get past all those copyrights. It's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, um, so. I, I I love this trailer. Um, there was another part of the trailer where we see, um, and I looked this up. They're calling it uh, the Great Protector. It was this big like white dragon under the ocean? Now, mm. Abe, you're you're a big comic book guy. I instantly thought of Fing Fang Foom. I don't know about you, but that's what I instantly thought of when I saw this dragon. I was like, is this the MCU bringing in Fing Fang Foom, making him a good guy, calling him the calling him the Great Protector? That's like a, a spirit guardian over these warriors. I mean. It'd be dope to bring them in, and this would be ideal. So, so what I'm enjoying so far about everything that we're getting from Marvel is that they're laying the groundwork for multiple villains and storylines to be playing on in the universe and affecting different group of heroes. Because again, we have all most of all uh, Marvel characters on the property, and man, that'd be I that'd be oh, I didn't even think of that. That'd be oh. <laughs> as long as they end up turning him into into a bad guy, as long as they end up having him have this. Why does character. he have to be a bad guy? I don't. I don't. I don't accept. He likes him villains. Good. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I do too. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's the name of the show. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I just I, I feel like this would be like the the perfect moment for the MCU to take that character and make him cooler like a like a spirit yeah. beast yeah uh, or something like that because but, it's, it's kind of too wild to just have a random dragon just that just appear on earth like hold on what like, right like where did you come hold, from hold, hold on let's have a be a spirit beast if anything so i i feel it i feel it i feel it yeah but um like you like you guys already alluded to but that scene where we get to see Shang-Chi against his father, the Mandarin, we already know that's the third act fight. That's the last thing that we're going to see as far as a fight goes in the movie. 
and men like just the visuals the color palette um you get the the parallel of when he was a kid and his father was telling him like if you want to be able to use the 10 rings you have to like follow my path and do all of these different things which is pretty much why he sends like a bunch of ninjas <laughs> after his own son he's like I, I told him i told him they wouldn't be able to kill you i'm glad to see you here son it's like this dude is clearly like fucked in the head so it's like it's good to see him someone who walked away from that responsibility when he realized what his father truly was and him accepting who he is to take on that mantle but to change what it means right look 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 the father did what's best for his son look at him now now he could kick anybody's ass you feel me now he can actually be useful in the mcu because if he could be taken out by them ninjas he was gonna hang with the crew he was gonna <laughs> hang with the crew now he can hang hey his father was looking out for his well-being mandarin we appreciate you <laughs> and do it for uh, the be- the better good <laughs> hey by any means necessary that's 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 the model that's the model so other question for you looking back at this image at abomination do we think that this is Wong from Doctor Strange? Now, I, I, I don't want to be racist and just be like, oh, it's a heavier set Asian guy. It has to be Wong, right? Mm. So it's like, I think it would be cool to bring Wong into Shang-Chi, right? So so what did you guys think about this? When people mentioned it, um, I was thinking like, hey, I feel like the actor for Wong deserves as much screen time as they can get. And, and he... Thanks to the first Doctor Strange movie, he, you know, he's part of the, the MCU, like, in terms of, he's part of the family. We want to see more of it. Kind of like how happy he was for Iron Man. You know, we, we enjoyed Happy's role, and we enjoyed seeing him in Spider-Man and, and playing such a bigger role there. You know, even if Wong only has a few minutes here, let us know what he's doing, you know, in the MCU. I would like to know what he's up to. Is he he's cage fighting? I bet. How he end up there? You going to let us know? No, if you don't, we'll find out at some point. Um, mm. So if it is Wong, dope. If it's not, all right. But at least we further iterate that there are other sorcerers out there, you know, um, because let's be real. The only sorcerers we really got to know was Wong, was Dr. Strange. We, of course, had the those that entered in the big fight of Endgame and whatnot. But now to know, like, hey, there are sorcerers that might be involved in other stuff outside of what we've seen them as, I appreciate that. So if it's Wong or not, Hey, it's a win regardless. Yeah. yeah. If, if it's Wong, I'll definitely like it because of the fact that he's one of those characters that they've put in like one of the movie in each of the movies that uh people enjoy. So like you had the agent when um with um that was with Samuel L. Jackson that was uh getting the Avengers basically assembled together. Then you have um an Ant Man um, I, I can't remember his name right now, but the Hispanic guy that's telling the story Luis. and stuff like Luis, yeah. So you got him, and then in Spider Man, you got his best friend. Uh, so each each one of these movies have one of those characters that the fan base just falls in love with. So if Wong is in this, I'm I'm gonna be excited about it just because he's one of those characters that kind of it kind of just always ties it all together, and it gives you that lovable character from each one of the things like that. So I, I, I'll i like it if it's Wong. I'll definitely appreciate that. I really hope it's him too. And and also just to have, like, he can be that connective tissue to Shang-Chi being connected to the rest of the MCU because I expect to see things in this film that we've never seen before in the MCU. Yeah. So mm-hmm. to see someone familiar and again seeing Abomination, it just further, like like envelops you into the mcu and it's like yo don't forget shang chi is it's all wrapped up in here like it's all part of the same thing (laughs) 